Hello and welcome back to another Warlords of Draenor video. So this time I'm going to be talking about my impressions of the Retribution Paladin. It's a very popular spec and honestly, it's probably going to be playing rather the same. And really as it has been in Mists of Pandaria, they have not changed a great deal. And what they've done is they've perhaps consolidated a few of our buffs. So really all we're doing now is just using Avenging Wrath, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't have much of a mechanical impact on how the class plays. And then they've, of course, added a new tier of talents. The previous talents are, I think, largely the same. There's not much gameplay implication there. It's really just the final talents that they've changed up. Now, in terms of how the class actually plays, well, as always, all that happens is you generate your holy power with your Crusader Strike and all that stuff. That's fine. Still there. And now one difference is that they have removed Inquisition, so you no longer have to bother with that. Your base rotation is very, very simple. Just use all of your cooldown abilities, keep them all on cooldown, and then use Templar's Verdict to burn any excess um, holy power. So, it, you know, it, it plays exactly the same, theoretically. Now, they have changed things up just a little bit with the talents, and I've got to say, though, that without Inquisition, it's a very samey rotation. And another thing is that right now, we don't have, like, a crazy amount of haste on our gear, and most of my experience playing a Ret Paladin is in about 510 gear, on the live servers where I basically am full on haste because I just find it to be so much fun to play my paladin that way. And I think it's also the optimal way of playing a paladin. And um, that of course isn't the case in the beta right now. And I've got to say that without a high amount of haste, this class just doesn't feel like it's that fun for me to play personally. That's just a personal thing though. Um, if you enjoy playing your rat paladin in patch 5.0, well, you're probably going to enjoy it here. Now then, Let's talk about the talents and things like that. So we've got Empowered Seals, we've got Sephirim, and then we've got, or Seraphim even, then we've got Final Verdict. Now we'll start off with Final Verdict. Now, Final Verdict is basically just a beefed up Templar's Verdict. The only difference is, well, it's supposed to do basically double the damage, and it's got a pretty cool thing that if you have um, Seal of Righteousness active, it's also going to do 50% as much damage to any enemies that are near the target that you hit with your Final Verdict. And it's also got a 10 yard range. Now, it's a fun enough ability, it does a lot more damage, it's got a really cool spell effect, but it's not transformative in any way. It's a really boring talent choice, and because it just flat out makes one of your previous buttons better, it doesn't add any more complexity or depth or anything like that. I honestly just think it's really rather dull, that's unfortunate, but I, I mean, it's just boring. Now, currently in the beta, I haven't been using it because it just doesn't seem to be fully working. Actually, and what I've been finding is that it's doing about the same amount of damage as what, um, what, um, what, uh, yeah, Templar's Verdict's been doing. So, I don't know what's going on there, but when it has been working, it's definitely been a very sizable DPS increase. The next one, Seraphim. This is 5 Holy Power. It lasts for 30 seconds, but it's, well, th sorry, 30 second cooldown, but it lasts for 15 seconds. And what it does is that it magnifies your crit, mastery, multi-strike, versatility, and bonus armor. Um, from your gear by 50% for 15 seconds. So it's going to scale really well with gear. And I think Seraphim is fine, I suppose. Um, you know, it's five holy power, so it's a very expensive thing. It lasts for 15 seconds. You'll probably want to use this right before you get some sort of crazy big haste buff so that you can fit as many Templar's verdicts in, the, um, you know, in during that 15 second period. But other than that, it's basically just like Inquisition. Um, you know, being back again, just that you use it on cooldown, you no longer actually have to do any management or thought there. Basically, if uh, Seraphim is up, then you probably want to use it, unless you really have some reason to combine it with something else, but then you get into the, you know, you get into that sort of uh, thing where you, you know, you don't really want to be delaying one of your abilities so that it can time up with something else, because maybe over the course of a fight, you would have been able to squeeze in one or two extra Seraphims if you had to just use them instantly. Now, the other thing we've got is Empowered Seals. This is kind of interesting, so um, it basically just enhances your judgment so that it gives you a small buff. So if you use your judgment while you've got um, uh, while you've got Seal of Justice up, then you get a 20% movement speed increase. If you um, judgment when you've got Insight up, then it just heals you for 3% of your health every 2 seconds or 20 seconds. If you do it with Righteousness up, then you'll get a... 30% uh, movement sp or attack speed increase for 20 seconds. And finally, if you use it when truth is up, then you'll get a 15% attack power increase for 20 seconds. This is really cool, and currently you can actually stack these um, on the beta. So that's a bit weird. I doubt it's going to stay like that, though, because honestly, I think that stacking them is 
it just it doesn't feel right, you know, it doesn't feel like that's working as intended. It would make your spec very annoying to play because you'd constantly be going around the place, you know, swapping out your seals, and that just sounds like it wouldn't be particularly fun to do, honestly. So, yeah, hopefully that stuff's going to be fixed up because it does feel a little bit weird and just swapping your seals all the time to get all the buffs. I mean, it, sure, it does make you really powerful, but again, I just, I don't know if that's really how it should be working. Um, yeah, so a bit, a bit weird there. However, I suppose, in essence, it is a pretty cool um, talent. So, on the whole, I think the talents themselves are actually a bit dull. You know, Seraphim, just use it on cooldown, that's it. Final Verdict, well, it's just a flat-out increase. And I guess Empowered Seals could be interesting, but, I mean, whatever. It's Empowered Seals, just gives you a little buff. Maybe you can Seal Swap for a little bit. And I suppose a lot of players would maybe like that Seal Swap gameplay back. It certainly is a lot more involved. But it just seems like unnecessary micromanagement that's not really fitting with the whole design philosophy that's led to us losing buttons. However, apart from that, honestly, the Red Paladins have came off really well. You know, most of your buttons are there, they're intact, and everything seems to make sense. It plays largely the same, it's still a really fun spec. So on the whole, I've got to say, the Red Paladins have basically came out unscathed, and it really is just a case of, if it's not broken, then don't fix it. The Red Paladin wasn't broken, maybe it wasn't doing as much DPS as it should have done, but that's not down to the actual design of the class. The design of the class is basically untouched, so I suppose if that's your thing, then you're going to be pretty happy about it. Anyway, that's basically it for me, just sort of dropping in to tell you, hey, Red's still pretty good, you guys, don't worry, the sky ain't falling. And if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.